Hey folks, Troy Dooley, the Beachside CEO. We are home during the month of March. It's March Madness. Everybody's excited. It's also a major day for voting. This is Super Tuesday that I'm shooting this video right here. Last month, I spent some just phenomenal time with my friend, Jeff Weisberg. Jeff is an amazing individual. We go back almost now, well, a little over a decade. We're going on two decades, actually, uh, that we have been in some form of business relationship. It started out, I was running a, a small, uh, I say small, at that time it was the world's largest lead generation support and training company, and he was a member of that. We teamed up with his mentor, BK Breaco, back then. We created one of the first integrated online systems where leads were going into it, and they were building a phenomenal company. And, and then Jeff left and, and went on over with BK to launch Vima. And as some of you know, late last year, uh, Vima went through a storm. It's coming out of the other side of that storm. But during that process, Jeff came to a crossroads. What was he going to do Why BK and the company fought what I believe was a governmental overreach in the Vima case? But that's a different story. This is about Jeff. Jeff made sure unlike a lot of people that he didn't have to just go looking for a deal, go jump to something new. Many, many days and many nights we had phone conversations and texts and he was talking to all of his mentors, traveling and seeing what guys that he trusted over the years had to say. And one day he called me up and said, Troy, here's what I've done. I've got my team all out where they need to go. My leaders are, are just having a wonderful time in their companies and now I'm ready to build it all over again. I said, Jeff, it's it's I don't understand that. I don't you know, you had everything. You could have gone and gotten a deal somewhere, you could have done whatever you wanted. What'd you end up doing? And he said, I went back home. And that's what this video is about, is I sat in California and interviewed Jeff. Now the video that I'm gonna show you happens to be a at late at night. We had been at the beach together, we shot a lot of video. But this right here, you can see his heart. It was just the two of us in a, in a small meeting room in a hotel where he was able to share why he chose the leader and the company that he decided to go to. Not a startup company, a company who had weathered its own storms, came out the other side in one of the best kept secrets of network marketing. Listen to Jeff. And, and a trend that I've seen with you, and I don't know that it's intentional because there are different companies you've been with that have had no challenges whatsoever at least not to the extent of Vima but Herbalife major challenges in 85 NSA major challenges totally I mean the leadership of that company blew my mind because they were able to transform from an old acceptable practice mm -hmm. of the 70s and 80s to what I would call a modern customer focused company and and just grow astronomically uh, and then Vima going through some situations you seem to be attracted to companies whose leadership have gone weathered storms but stuck together is that something that's just subliminal or something that that actually is part of the of the methodology when you're looking at companies well, I mean, I haven't gotten a check in Vima since, uh, since I guess, the end of August. Mm -hmm. And I still buy the product every month, and my sons and I use the product. Okay. So the adage of, oh, well, you know, you're buying the product because you get a check, I'm an example. Okay. I'm buying a product, I'm getting no check um, because I believe in the product. Um, a lot of people, when this happened to Vima, they stopped buying the product because they maybe thought differently. Gotcha. Um, and no matter what company I got in, you, you can take more than one product. Yep, that's true. Um, so I've always believed that product's got to be important. And leadership, you know, you're building leaders here. If you want to build something long-term in addition to customers in the field, you got to have leadership. Um, you know, some leadership's good, some leadership's bad. It depends on what people's motives are, and it depends on how people build it. And I've always felt that if you have a system with leadership that's duplicatable, then anybody can do it, especially if you're building outside of your local market, regional, national, or international. Okay. Because when you got language differences and culture differences, if you've got a system that you can duplicate, then anybody can do it. So I've always wanted to be around, you know, I've been a big Tony Robbins fan for years. I try to do as much personal development and growth as I can. Um, we talked about Larry Thompson, 30 years. I mean, one of the, 
the pioneers of the industry. Yeah. Always tried to learn from him, and I've got other mentors in the industry that are, you know, multiple six and seven figure earners, and I'm always trying to learn and develop as much leadership as I can. Well, that makes that makes total sense. Now, let's talk about that because you have chosen a company that I'm, I'm not sure anybody could hype the company. The comp plan isn't one of those uh, patent pending, brand new, quadruple, <laughs> triple axle things, you know. The, the products are grounded in, in science that even the government has produced to show this works. Um, what was the deciding factor? Or, or, or how did your mentors, maybe that'd be a better way, help you to make the right decision to join this company? Um, I went to a, uh, a mastermind event, Halloween weekend, with Larry Thompson and Kyle Wilson, who is the founder and CEO of Jim Rowan Productions at Kyle's Ranch. A lot of top networkers were there, and I was going through all this stuff. This was like a secret society type get together. I mean, you, you named some guys here that are like legends, dude. Yeah, right. it's like, what the heck? And from several companies, and, and um, uh, you know, Larry said, you know, you ought to come to this. I said, you know, I just lost my business. I got to figure out what to do. He said, you need to get around this. It's a small group, it's maybe a couple dozen people. There was multi six figure and seven figure earners. Were, yeah. There were some non net workers there, you know, and I'm walking in being unemployed. It was pretty funny. <laughs> um, but, you know, I realized I need to be around that environment. Yeah. And um, he talked about something that's very unique. He said, you know, if you take network marketing as a whole, doesn't matter the company, you know, 80% of this industry is at $500 to $1,000 $1, a month earner. Yeah. 15% is that twenty-five dollars to $30,000 a year earner. Mm -hmm. And 5% are like us in the room, twenty-five dollars to $30,000 a month or more earner. Right. He says, if you look at the companies that have lasted long term, they've been built on the 80 percenters and the 15 percenters, and they develop into the 5 percenters. That's a very good point. If you look at the companies that are all based on the 5 percenters, let's go get this guy, this guy, and this guy, and I can sit back and relax. Most of these 5 percenters haven't been with one company five years. Good point. And he said, so if you're going to build it with five percenters, you'll make money quick and you'll make money fast, but you may or may not make money long term because all the five percenters look for the five percenters. If you build it with the 80 percenters and 15 percenters, it's not fancy, it's not glamorous, it's not exciting, and you don't make 10 grand a month in 15 minutes, but you got a business that'll last you five or 10 years and look at the companies that have lasted. That's true. And look at the ones that haven't and look how they've built. He said, so. At the end of the day, if you want a long-term business, that's what I would focus on, he said to me. And I started looking around. He said, it's great if you can roll a thousand people and you can make 20 grand your first month. But after you're done rolling and you gotta go build a base, where are you gonna be six months from now or a year from now? Right. And so uh, it opened up my eyes to what I was looking for. And I realized that I needed all those different things we talked about, product, company, l company leadership, field leadership, a system, Comp plan, yeah, I mean, he's got to pay you, but if it's been around a long time, it's going to pay you. paying somebody, yeah. And so those were the kind of things I was looking for and realized that, you know, I want to build something and get it, you know, I'm not a kid anymore, and I, I 15 years was one deal, I want another 15 years. You bet. And it may not be, you know, the first 15 or 20 minutes or first couple of months, but long term it'll be there. And you, you are kind of like going back home to a certain degree. You are... Uh, someone that builds relationships through this whole interview you've talked about a handful of mentors uh, that have been in your life in one way or the other uh, when you guys weren't making money together you were still very very good mm -hmm. friends they still picked up the phone call and at this meeting was Jeff Roberti somebody who has has made more uh, he's he's created I think more leaders earning five six seven figures than maybe anyone currently alive in this industry, and yet is a very humble individual. He's not a person that's showing checks, doing his stuff. He'd rather go out there and take somebody and say, let's go build this together, let's go do something together. Um, and he was the one that you were with at NSA, AKA Juice Plus, which is where you've, you've landed. You know, what are going to be uh, because they are old school, dude. I mean, you've got a brand new system that you guys are getting ready to launch. Um, share a little bit about, now that you've made the decision, mm -hmm. 
which still blows my mind. And I love the products. I mean, we don't, we don't have any here, but they've got a gummy bear that my kids and I fight over because they're really, really good. And I've got the capsules on this trip. Got the capsules, I'm into the fruits and the vegetables. What do you see your future there? I mean, you because you're a 15 year plan. Share a little bit about, about what your goals are now. Well, you know, Jeff said to me, well, it was last time you looked at Juice Plus when we were talking. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said a long time ago when it first came out, because I was involved with NSA 20, yeah. three or four years ago. Um, he said, well, it's changed a lot. And he said to me, what are you looking for? You know, when I talk about longevity, they've been around 40 years. Talk about corporate management, Jay Martin, still there 40 plus years. It's not owned by a, a you know, a, a manufacturing company. It's not owned by a brokerage firm. It's not owned by an investment firm. It's owned by the guy that started it. Like Vima was owned by BK. Um, and Jay Martin is a guy that likes to fly high under the radar. Nobody hears about him. Nobody talks about him. He's nowhere to be found, yet they do huge numbers. Hundreds and hundreds of millions well, of dollars in sales. And we should say something about Jay. Under his tutelage, from NSA to now, he has created the Eric Warriors, the Jeff Olsons, the Gary Racers. I mean, there are some giant leaders in our industry mm -hmm that got started under his mentorship over the years. So, I mean, this isn't even somebody that says, hey, you gotta stay with us. I mean, his, his people have gone on, but he's got a little piece of them, which mm -hmm. I think is important because nobody knows who he is. Uh, yet over 20 years ago, they came out with Juice Plus. They got hundreds and thousands of people on the product. They've got this children's health study, which is unbelievable, where if mom or dad, grandma, grandpa get on the product, their kid or grandchild can get on the product for free. I love that, I thought that was awesome. It's amazing, because parents will do more for their kids and their pets than they'll do for themselves. Well, and the company's putting their money where their mouth is. Right. You know, if you want to change the world, start with the kids. I and, love that. And they fund the whole survey. It's un like nothing I've Man. ever seen in the industry. Uh, another thing they do is you get the product, for example, for four months, and you pay for it monthly. Never seen that in the industry. Wow. Um, so the product got efficacy. Fruits and vegetables aren't going out of style. No. Um, you know, they got all kinds of peer-reviewed journal studies, but you can go online and Google what fruits and vegetables do for you and juicing and all that. I mean, it's all out there. Well, and it's the one pyramid that the government actually says, right. hey, you need to have this stuff. So Five servings, raw fruits yeah. and vegetables. So here you get, you know, almost 30 different fruits, vegetables, and berries. So it's, it's a simple, affordable program that basically bridges a gap between what most people do eat and they should eat. Um, and, you know, then I looked at Jeff. Jeff's been with one company 28 years. Isn't that and, amazing? And he said to me, he said, hey, if I come out of semi-retirement, okay, and we put our arms together and lock arms, he says the company wants to expand into more foreign countries in the next three to five years, like Latin America and Asia. You wow. love the international side of it. You know technology a little bit, but you know the social media and what's happened, obviously what you guys did in Veeam and other companies. Um, he said, and this is something that we could build huge. So, you know, you look at something that's gonna last another 15 plus years. And I believe with technology, you're gonna see people come into this thing, not on height, not on fluff, not on anything like that, but on good, basic, solid principles of what fruits and vegetables do for you and take technology like the internet and you can build a customer base, not with hundreds, but thousands of customers. Mm -hmm. uh, their retention is unbelievable. And so you've got an international business, top corporate leadership, top product, top field leadership with people like Jeff. I mean, Jeff's like the Michael, I call him like the Michael Jordan Magic Johnson. Oh man, yeah. He's one of the top 10 money earners in the history of our industry worldwide. And we've been buddies 30 years. But see, you can only get there when you're developing other leaders. Mm -hmm. And you've got a product with sustainability and you've got all these customers that are going. And when you first told me this, I thought, man, you know, is, is that the right move? You know, I mean, this is not a category creator. Like I said, it doesn't have that funky comp plan. But then I thought of two major companies out there, Apple and Starbucks. Apple hasn't created doggone anything till the iPad. So when you look at the computer, the iPod, you look at watches, you look at cell phones, they didn't, they didn't I mean, that wasn't the, they weren't the first. They just changed the personal experience that they had. Starbucks didn't invent coffee. They invented $5 coffee. But it was the experience, you know, that, that gave. And I thought, you know, Juice Plus has something. That person who is taking a good product, their kids are getting a product, that can change their lives. And that's the, I think that's where their longevity came. 
all those customers who said, look, dude, we just want the pro This is great product. I'm not going to eat my fruits and vegetables like the doggone government tells me to. I, 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 want to, I, I just can't get that many. To give it all to them, bam. Yep. People just stay on the doggone product. So I can see where longevity would fit. And I don't know many leaders like Jeff who literally will take the time to mentor somebody and to listen because you're not just a protege anymore. You've had success all through the industry and he knows that. But to give you that leeway to say, I'm coming alongside of you. Let's go do this together. You know, bring me in some new tactics. Well, let, let's try these systems and things if that's what it takes to bring us into the real world. As long as you keep us straight. We don't want all the crazy. We don't want all that. And I think that's good. That keeps everybody accountable to each other. You know, one of the things it reminds me of what you're saying is Larry Thompson taught us years ago a simple concept of put 10 pennies in your right pocket. And every time you go talk to somebody, move it to your left pocket. You don't come home at night until you've moved the 10 move pennies. Well, you take social media, it's more like putting 100 or 500 pennies in your pocket and moving them over here because of the exposure. So you take, you know, maybe old school that we've all learned with new technology, you take a product that's never gonna go, it's not a fad, fruits and vegetables, it's not like you're gonna go to your doctor and he's gonna go, Troy, you gotta get off of kale, broccoli, and apples because it's gonna kill you. That's true. You know, it, it's a different mindset. Yep. And you've got all that stuff out there talking about what fruits and vegetables will do for you, what non-GMO foods do for you, the whole gluten-free thing. And it's a simple program that people can take and it works. They've also gotten into the weight loss. You know, there's a lot of weight loss products out there, but here you can get the Juice Plus, the Live Enzymes, the whole food, and you can replace a couple of meals. So people can get their fruits and vegetables, they can get the whole foods, um, they've gotten into some other things as well that's kind of exciting, but it's not, like you said, the latest, greatest right. type of situation where you can't even pronounce what the word is, or people say, well, how does yours compare to that one or the other one? And, uh, you know, once people get on the product, the retention's amazing, and the company puts their money where their mouth is. Here's four months worth of the product. That's Don't pay amazing. us for four months. Yeah. And amazing. by the way, you got kids? All you got to do is do a survey to let us know the results your kids are getting. They got hundreds of thousands of kids. That's been going on 10 years. So it's kind of, uh, you know, it, it's got everything. Is it perfect? I don't think anything's perfect. You still have to go build it. Does it take time? Yeah. Is it for the person that wants to make money in the next 30, 60, 90 days? The huge money. They don't have builder packs. You're not going to load people up with stuff. Right. But five years from now, it's here. Well, 10 years from now, it's here. You mentioned something because we talked about those five percenters. They're, they're rolling all over <clears> the place. And something that I've noticed is that when people are focused on the fast money, they make a lot. We see all these crazy stories. But if I took that over a 20 year period, they're really back into that 80 or 15%. Mm -hmm. They're not the true five percenters. And when I look at, at Juice Plus, and after you made that decision, I, I really started looking at some things because it, it opened some eyes. And I'm seeing some companies out there that are doing what I call going back to the future. They're looking at their product mix and they're saying, what can we do to create this for a customer? How can we make it healthier? How can we get rid of some of the hype and the garbage that we have? And let's go to change. And when a company stays true to its mission, mm -hmm you attract the right people because they aren't going to look for that get rich quick. They're going to look for, I don't want the headache. I want to go out there and help my friends. I want to help my families. And even though the tactics may change, and I can think back when, when I was with ProStep and you were buying leads from us, you know, you guys were buying a thousand leads a month, fax on demand. We started an email autoresponder. You were making phone calls, you know, and, and it's like, now we do it all from here. Mm -hmm. I mean, Send an email if you want to. Text. You know, screw the fax thing. We ain't doing that anymore. But I mean, you can FaceTime. You can still have a one-on-one -on -one belly to belly right there on your phone. So it, it's it's the same. It's just, as you say, new technology that's worked. And I think that's awesome. Well, how can people get a hold of you if they're interested in Juice Plus or they just want to know more about you? A couple of different ways. I mean, talk about social media, Jeff Weisberg. Uh, G-A-F-F-W-E-I-S-B-E-R-G -E on Facebook, Jeff Weisberg on Twitter, uh, Jeff Weisberg on Instagram. You're not very original, are you? No, I've got to come up with something new. Or my email, you know, we talked about having two sons. Since, yeah. I don't know if I've had this since email came out, but it's Jeff at Daddy Works From Home. 
and it's been Isn't daddy, work daddy works from home. I'd love to have had that domain, I tell you. Oh my gosh. Which has been that. Now they're a little older, so I might have to change the daddy works from home because they're going to be in college pretty soon. But we'll. we'll you better go buy, because they're going to have kids one of these. You better go get Papa or Grandpa or something. <laughs> right, you right. know, get this stuff handled. You know. But no, but you know, again, I want to thank you because when all this was going on, you and I had a lot of talks, a lot of conversations. Nobody knows the industry better than you. Nobody's more of an advocate. There's probably not a company out there unless it just started today that you don't know about. Well, maybe it started yesterday, but you know about most. <laughs> yeah, I've been on the road. <laughs> big or small, um, you know comp plans, you know businesses, you know the ins and outs. And so you and I had talked a lot. You introduced me to a lot of people as well. And so it's people like you that make a difference. But again, long term. I mean, we've known each other, I guess, it's almost 16 yeah, years. Almost 16 years. Long time. I don't yeah. think you had here then, though, did you? Very I did. I, there may have been some Joe Pesci stuff on the <laughs> side, you know, but it was going fast, and uh, and it and it is. I, you know, it's. I look at the years that we've known each other and the fun that we've had. Um, and, and folks, I'll tell you, you know, we'll we'll rabbit trail for a second. When Jeff and I get together, it's an all day type event. I mean, it can be late at night like here, but we start in the middle of the day, or it can be all day, and we're at a restaurant when they're closing it down, because it's like we just pick up our conversation. You know, and, and that, that is a true connection. And that's what I see you have with JR, with LT, with the people that you're close to, BK's that way. You guys can just pick up the phone and continue a conversation. And when you build those types of relationships, it can change the world. You, you start to understand. And, and for you that might wonder, I still don't know who he is. When you did get those phone calls, major, major international companies would fly you to Europe or fly you here or there or they talked to you because they knew what you could do and they knew you weren't a fly by night person you were loyal I mean all the way to the ship goes down you know type deal because you understand what it takes and you're what we need more of Jeff honestly we need people to understand you're the mentor I've seen some of your leaders who have gone to other companies but I see Jeff in them male and female it's fun to watch them because they were looking for some of those same things that you had instilled in them. Hey, this is what you got to look for. And to be able to do, let your leaders go, and then to say, okay, it looks like we're going to have to build a lot of this from scratch. I think that shows the caliber of leader you are. And that helps me because you mentor me probably as much and more than I mentor you because you're in the field still. I'm out. So watching you do this, I steal your stuff. I can just go teach it to other people and say, this is the example. He's walking his walk. And brother, I got to thank you for that. Thank that you, that's, that, that's what it's about. Any parting words? No, man, I appreciate, like I said, everything you do. I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Um, I'm excited about the future. I think that the industry is going to make some changes. I think that what happened with Vima shouldn't have happened, but I think it's going to, in the long run, going to be good for the industry with sure. the changes. A lot of these companies that shouldn't be here may go by the wayside, the good companies will get stronger, and that's better for us in the field. Absolutely. Because, you know, the field builds these companies, the companies don't build them, and um, the better we get in the field, the better the companies are, the better our images in the industry, and it's a, what, that's $170, true. $180 billion, billion dollar business worldwide that people have no idea and, and need to really see because there's a lot of great people, great companies, and great products and services. There are. It's going to be fun. Well, folks, there you go. Wow, there you go. You've heard through this last three parts about Jeff Weisberg's life. Inside and outside of network marketing, the highs and the lows, the companies like Herbalife that went through their struggles, Vima that went through their struggles, NSA, now Juice Plus that went through their struggles. You've seen where he didn't let anything get in his way, not a divorce, not being a single dad, not using any excuse. He went out there and he changed his life permanently and he created a lifestyle for him and his sons that will go on to eventually his grandchildren it's an amazing story it's one that I hear over and over and it's one that you should be living I challenge you if you're looking for something now if you don't have a company if you if you're just getting into network marketing reach out to Jeff let him talk to you maybe his company's not for you but I guarantee you he's an ambassador he loves to help people and he will help you find what's right for you Live life like it's an epic adventure. Stay dangerous, stay strong, and if you're in network marketing, act like it.